Also Gucci. Soda. Um, is, is it soda or is it pop where you're, where you're from? Well, where I'm from, everybody calls it pop, but I have always called it soda. That's so strange. Yeah. Yeah, it's... it's... Speaking of bad segues, I just got this new cologne. Gucci Guilty. Gucci Guilty. Gucci Guilty. You know what other Gucci was guilty? Mm. I subscribe to unconventional punishments. Patricia... Gucci, or whatever her name was. At least it's my name on the mugs, not yours. Our name, sweetie, on Jock. Yeah. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Yeah. Yeah. So House of Gucci. Let's get right to it. <clears throat> See this? It's saying Gucci. But I felt like it after I watched it. Ridley Scott. Your movie felt too long. That's all I'm gonna say. It was good. It just felt really. It felt like I looked at my watch five times. Like Jesus Christ. Yeah. When the fuck is it gonna end? Two hours and forty-five minutes. Oh. Yeah. 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 I was extremely disappointed with this movie. To be yeah. honest. Um, I was looking forward to it solely because of everybody attached. Said I don't care what that movie is about. I'm in. Mm -hmm. Adam Driver has just become a hey. If he's in it, I'm gonna watch it. I mean, he wasn't bad in the film. No, no, he was. He was pretty no, good. Nobody. <clears throat> every, I thought everybody had a good performance, except Jared Leto. Whiny baby Jared Leto. Holy shit. Oh, boof. 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 Jesus fucking Christ. Every time Jared Leto's character was on screen, it just completely took me out of the movie. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Oh, fashion. Oh, I want to. I'm a wedding baby. Look at me. Never confuse shit with chocolate. They may look the same, but the taste very different. Trust me. I know. And I don't even think it was the character. From what I understand, because I've, I've seen a lot of uh, shade being thrown. Is that, is that what the kids say? Yeah. Shade? <laughs> I've seen a lot of shade being thrown online. And Jared Leto's official response was, you know what, I just had fun with it, so fuck you guys. Um, I mean, respect it. Golly, <sighs> dude. But Jared Leto, I mean, is amazing. And so I expected a lot more, especially with all the prosthetics. Like, he was unrecognizable. Yeah. I was expecting some crazy method acting going on, but yeah. Boof. Yeah. Outside of Jared Leto, everybody else's performance was amazing. Yeah. My biggest complaint about this movie, however, is, well, number one, the runtime. Mm -hmm. Number two, I would call this dialogue the movie. That's all that this movie was. Yep. All this movie was was people talking in different rooms, in different locations. People talking. Now, I was not expecting an action movie by any means. However, you have a boatload of talent in your movie. Tal Pacino, Jeremy Irons, Adam Driver. Yeah. Bro. Everybody in there, I felt like they were given nothing to really work with because there was nothing for them to act. It was all for them to just spit out lines. Yeah. Make it sound good. I'm, I'm a big fan of, you know, show, don't tell. And there was hardly any showing going on. There was only like one part in that movie that I was receiving a message with nothing being said. And that's pretty much when Lady Gaga realizes her marriage is falling apart and it's over. Yep. Everything. Are you serious? Even, even, even like with Jared Leto, I mean, his acting aside, the, the scene that you were acting out where he was pissing on the scarf. Oh my God. 
you could have just shown him pissing on the scarf. We would have got the message that yep. he had contempt and hate for his family. Yep. Uh, but no, he went on this like Hamlet style soliloquy that just Jesus was so unwarranted. But that's my biggest complaint. Yeah. If you want to sit around for two hours and 45 minutes watching people talk, um, this is the movie for you. Yeah. Otherwise, just skip it. You know? Yeah. yeah it happens. Although, apparently there's another movie where this got made with Matt Damon in Adam Driver with the Knights. One of us has lied. Let us let God decide. This movie, we actually got to watch that. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to put the title card here. We're going to watch that. We're going to yeah, get you guys a duel. review. Yeah, the last duel. Yeah. Let's watch that instead. We'll watch that instead. Watch that instead. We haven't, we seen, haven't it even seen it yet. We haven't even seen it, but we're we'll going to say, go ahead and watch it. Go ahead and watch that. Boof. Don't be scared, homie.